All right, how's it going, people? Liberal Hill, new video, same shirt from the Air Force One thing or whatever. I had to do this because I got time. And it, it, look, I said this in a previous video, and I need to say it again. Air Jordan Ones, while they're iconic, they're trash. Don't even try to debate me because they're trash. They're, tra they're trash because they have no foot support. They hurt. And all of you guys trying to flex for whatever reason, you guys are horrible people. Don't don't even try to debate me. They're horrible shoes. They have no support. They feel like walking on fucking concrete. I, I hate those shoes. But what I do love is this shoe right here on my feet. I've been wearing this for like two days. This. This is the best Air Jordan 1. Don't, don't even, don't lie to yourself. This is the best Air Jordan 1. This is the Jordan 312 Legacy or Legacy 312. This is the best Air Jordan 1. It's, it's what Michael Jordan would wear, would want to wear if he was still playing in Air Force 1s and Air and Jordan 1s. Not only does it have like the silhouette of the Jordan 1, it has the look at look at this. It has the Jordan 3 support i'm walking on this i swear it's like walking on a cloud i, I know jordan threes are comfortable <sighs> so why not combine the two this is awesome this is gonna be a short video but i look if you're sleeping on a 312 you and you like jordan ones first of all that point is just highly ridiculous i hate the jordan 312 would you like the jordan one it, it doesn't even make any sense they're the same it's, a, it's the same shoe but with support. So you're, you're saying to me, you hate the you hate this Jordan one because they provide you with actual foot support that makes the shoe more comfortable. I, I don't understand you guys. I, I could I could see the point about the scrap, but wearing this with the scrap and unscrap is a huge difference. The scrap. The lockdown support, just for lifestyle purposes, is A1. This issue is highly slept on. I know I've said this before. What are you looking at, Charles? What the hell are you looking at? Food, you need some food in the bowl? I guess so. And anyway, highly slept on shoe. Had to be said again. If you don't own a pair of 312s, you are completely sleep in the ocean. Uh, hyperbolic chamber sleeping. Uh, now, granted, some of the 312s, the quality is ass. Like this one I got with the leather. Hey, this is top notch. The red ones with the suede. Basically, all the suede ones are ass. All, all of them. Like I felt them. I, I've felt them in stores. And look, all, 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 all of the. What the? Get off me. Uh, all of the suede pairs are complete trash and ass and all that. But the leather pairs, they're pretty decent quality. And then if you're talking about if you can get your hands on the non-C pairs, those are top-notch quality. So even if, you know, I would say just give it a chance. If you want to give any shoe a chance, I mean, you can probably pick this up for 50, maybe less than 100. It's only that range. You might be able to pick it for 20. But if you have an open mind and you like Jordan 1s, give this shoe a chance because really – is it's it's a like I said it's a Jordan one, but it's a it's if they if they pressed upgrade on a Jordan one yes, Jordan ones are classic the silhouette is classic yes I'm not denying that but what I'm saying is why stick with the Jordan one maybe maybe it doesn't bother you maybe you know having your feet hurt and you know uh, just walking straight on concrete doesn't bother you maybe up uh, that whatever midsole is made of. Doesn't bother you. Maybe, maybe that's not a problem for you. But for the people like me who have flat feet or have foot problems, but you still want to enjoy the silhouette of the Jordan One, the three one two is for you because you're getting much needed support. That the look. Let, let's be honest. The Jordan One released when in 1985, and when did the three come out? So of course the technology is better and. <coughs> was better and you get better support so com 
what what are you looking at, man? Uh, so when you combine these two things, it can't go wrong. I I, I still don't get. I understand why some Jordan uh, mashups get hate, like the Jumpman Twenty Three and. Uh, what was the other one with the zipper on it and the other one? Um, but yeah, a lot of these Jordan matchups get hate. But right for so because they're ugly, they don't really do anything or whatever. But this one, when you're combining two iconic shoes together, I don't get the hate. And especially when they all when they serve a purpose to help each other. Um, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you guys later. Definitely got to add the Jordan 312 lower to the collection, or probably get enough, probably try to get the Don C version. This is just the Nike Air version. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll catch you guys later. Jordan Legacy 312. Trust me, guys. You pick this shoe up, your feet will thank you. And look, these, guys, these things look clean as hell on feet. Like I'm not even gonna try to hype the shoe up. This shoe looks clean as hell on feet. Um, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you guys later. Like I said, pick this up. You you will not be disappointed. You will be disappointed if you get the suede version. Like, don't, like, avoid the red suede, the black suede, the New York suede. Avoid all those suede all together and just go for the leather ones and the Don C's and you will thank me. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.